Parama has a very talented uh, and developed labor force. However, we've been growing so fast and there's so many companies that have set up in Panama that they have absorbed most of it. For Panama, it's very important to have uh, uh, flexible immigration policy, especially when it comes to international uh, companies that will render services not to Panama, but to the region. And as such, in, during the, uh, the regime for multinational headquarters, it's, they have a special immigration uh, uh, component in order to allow these companies to bring expats to operate from Panama. And the reason being is that these companies are not rendering services to the Panamanian market, but rendering services to the region. So if a company comes to Panama and decides to close or to serve the Chile market from Panama, most probably they will bring their expert in Chile that they were operating the company before to run that operation from Panama. Uh, we understand that we have uh, many challenges when it comes to improving the skills of our people. That's why we're doing uh, the Technical uh, Institute in, in near Tocumen. It's a brand uh, new and innovative uh, system for education that we don't, have in we don't have in Panama in the past. It's technical and vocational education. Um, we are actually, um, next year in March, we're opening the first public school that is going to be fully bilingual. It's going to be also near Tocumen. And the, and the idea for that is for the public schools to be able to compete with the top private schools because we understand the importance of dedicating and allocating resources uh, to education. We're also training our, our people in, 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 in English language through a program called Panama Bilingue in which we're sending, uh, the, the, the expectation is that we're going to send more than 300 students to learn English in the U.S., in the top schools in the U.S., uh, U.K. and Canada. And we're also training the trainers, training the teachers. So they not only learn English, but they learn how to teach English because that's important. So when you mentioned uh, that we're changing our, our visa policy with, with Venezuela, that was a decision mainly because we are, as you said, we're a small country. We cannot receive that, main, that much, that many immigrants that take a toll on our, on, our, on our infrastructure, on our social security system. So what we're doing is we're requesting, uh, they have to go through a stamp visa process. However, any uh, Venezuelan that has a U.S. visa can enter the country. Uh, so it's mainly for, for security purposes rather than, than for restrict uh, international labor force to come into Panama. The challenge, or I would say the opportunity that Panama has, is that because of the Panama Canal and our logistic infrastructure, there's a lot of uh, um, containers or cargo that goes through our country. And what the, our challenge is to make sure that we get that cargo to stick in the country, that we can get it out of the container, not only transship, get it out of the container, add some value to it, and then use our logistic platform to export that. So what are we doing for that? Recently, we passed a, a law as well on, on manufacturing, trying to improve the manufacturing sector with providing additional incentives for more manufacturing operations to open in Panama. We're working together with uh, uh, the Panama Canal to develop a new logistics park right next to the Panama Canal so the cargo could come in that we can manufacture from Panama and then use the, the, the platform of the Panama Canal. Um, more importantly, uh, we created what we call the Gabinete Logistico, which is uh, and it's, it's all the groups, all the institutions that have a, a saying in, in, uh, in, uh, in, logis in the logistics sector, the Ministry of Economy and Finance, the, the, the Maritime Authority, of course, the Ministry of Commerce and many others, we sit together about once a month to identify new policies that could uh, improve our logistic platform. In terms of en in the energy sector, uh, uh, we are uh, recently, about two weeks ago, we, uh, the third line of the, the transmission line was completed, which uh, will provide uh, an additional transmission line for all the energy created on the west side of Panama, near Costa Rica, all the hydropower that's created in that area that will be bringing to the city. We have two large uh, uh, gas uh, 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 energy generation projects, one being run by uh, AES and the other one by a Chinese uh, group. And all of that will, should come online, at least the AES project will be online uh, next year, hopefully. So our energy demand at the moment is about uh, 1,500 uh, uh, megawatts. Our capacity is about 3,000. Uh, so we, we're going to add more capacity, so we're able to cover the demand and at the same time reduce the cost of energy so that manufacturing sector could uh, take advantage of low cost of, of, of energy in Panama. 
This dispute has been in place at the uh, uh, WTO for more than seven years. Uh, at the moment, Panama has won in different instances. Uh, we won the first uh, 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 at the first instance and they appealed and we won again. And we are in the process. We're very confident that, that between the government of Colombia and the government of Panama will be able to find an amicable solution for this, for, for this issue. We've had a meeting about almost a month ago with uh, the Secretary of State of Colombia and the new Minister of Commerce of Colombia. Uh, our team, technical team, went to Colombia for, for negotiations. They came back to Panama as well. And we feel confident that we'll be able to find a resolution for this so that we can look for more cooperation between our countries. Panama and Colombia, we continue to be important commercial partners. However, this, of course, it's a, it's a, it's a roadblock in our commercial agenda. However, we cooperate as countries, you know, in, in security issues and in, in, we have very close diplomatic relationships as well. My